Who is the king of the jungle? Ooh, ah. Who is the king of the sea? Ooh. Hey, M Kids friends. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Are you ready? Let's begin. <laughs> I've got joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Joy, joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. I'm so glad that I know Jesus. I'm so glad I am his child. That's a nice song, Ola. Thanks. I'm so glad I know Jesus. It's so nice to be his child. Now I can't do anything wrong ever again. And I will now never get in trouble. Um, Ola, that is not exactly what it means to be Jesus' child. Everyone makes mistakes and does things wrong, even Christians. Uh, mm, not me. I don't do anything wrong anymore. Oh, you stupid giraffe! I hate you! You dropped all my jelly beans! Oh. I'm so sorry, Ola. It was just an accident, Ola. It's not nice to shout and call someone stupid. Oh man, that was wrong of me. I'm so sorry, Klaus. Looks like I still make mistakes and do wrong things. It's okay, Ola. I forgive you. Hi, guys. I heard what you were talking about. Can I tell you something? Jesus' children try to listen and try to be obedient, but we don't always get it right. We make mistakes and do things wrong sometimes. Even you, Gray? Yes, definitely me too, Ola. We all do things wrong sometimes. That's exactly why God made a plan, so he can forgive us for all our sins. That's good news, friends. He doesn't stay angry with us. When we do something wrong, remember these three things. Realize, see, when you do something wrong. Admit, say that you did something wrong. Say sorry to the person and to Jesus. You are forgiven. Jesus doesn't stay angry. Now you can try to do the right thing again. You can try to listen to what Jesus teaches you is right again. Thanks, Gray. That helps me to realize that we all do things wrong sometimes, but that Jesus forgives us and that we can all try again. That makes me glad. Hola, friends. Did you know there is a story about how God forgives in the Bible? I know, I know. It's Adam and Eve who ate from the tree that God said they shouldn't eat from. That's right, Zibs. Let's listen together. 
The serpent was the cleverest of all the wild animals the Lord God had made. One day he asked the woman, Did God really say you must not eat the fruit from any of the trees in the garden? Of course we may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, the woman replied. It's only the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden that we are not allowed to eat, God said. You must not eat it or even touch it. If you do, you will die. You won't die, the serpent replied to the woman. God knows that your eyes will be opened as soon as you eat it, and you will be like God, knowing both good and evil. The woman was convinced. She saw that the tree was beautiful and its fruit looked delicious, and she wanted the wisdom it would give her. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it too. At that moment their eyes were opened and they suddenly felt shame at their nakedness. So they sewed thick leaves together to cover themselves. When the cool evening breezes were blowing, the man and his wife heard the Lord God walking about in the garden. So they hid from the Lord God among the trees. Then the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? He replied, I heard you walking in the garden, so I hid. I was afraid because I was naked. Who told you that you were naked? The Lord God asked. Have you eaten from the tree whose fruit I commanded you not to eat? The man replied, It was the woman you gave me who gave me the fruit, and I ate it. Then the Lord God asked the woman, What have you done? The serpent deceived me, she replied. That's why I ate it. Hello friends! Do you remember the story about Adam and Eve? God created Adam and Eve to live in the beautiful Garden of Eden with him. Yes, this was immediately after he created the whole earth. God instructed them not to eat the fruits from one specific tree. Which tree was this? Yes, it was the tree in the center of the garden. Adam and Eve did not listen to God and they were disobedient and they ate the fruit. They became terrified of God and they were so ashamed of what they had done that they tried to hide away from God. Maybe they thought that he wouldn't love them anymore. Sometimes people make wrong choices and don't listen to God. You and I sometimes make wrong choices. Sometimes all of us make mistakes. Have you ever been afraid that God would be upset with you and that he wouldn't love you anymore? Now here is the good news. You never have to hide away from God. He is your heavenly dad, the best parent ever. God doesn't remain angry. He forgives us and then we can try again. Just like that. God also didn't remain upset with Adam and Eve. He pulled them closer, spoke to them, and gave them another opportunity to listen and to try to do as he actually asked of them. Have you ever disobeyed your parents? Were you a little naughty at school before? Do you sometimes tease your brother or sister? Do you sometimes say mean things just because you are upset the way Paula was? Do you sometimes have bad thoughts? We all misbehave sometimes. People commit sin. But God invites us to talk to him, not to hide away. Jesus loves us, no matter what. And he helps us to become a little bit more like him. Can you remember the things Gray taught us to do when we have disobeyed? First one, confess. Recognize that you have made a mistake and admit it or say what it was that you did wrong. Remorse. This means to be deeply sorry about your actions. You need to say this to the person that you have disobeyed as well as to Jesus. 
And the third thing, free. You are forgiven and free. Jesus never holds it against you. He doesn't stay angry. Now you can try again to do the right thing and follow the teachings of Jesus. So what is the first word? <laughs> yes, confess. Good. This means that you recognize and that you say what you have done incorrectly. What is the second word? Remorse. Well done. Now this means that you are deeply sorry for your wrong actions. And the third word? Free. You are forgiven. You are no longer controlled by your sin. And you don't have to keep on feeling guilty. You are forgiven. Will you remember, friends, that God loves you, regardless of what sin you committed? Come closer. He loves you, and He's calling you. He will never push you away, because He loves you way too much to ever do that. Hi guys, let's pray together. Lord Jesus, thank you that you're always with us and love us. That even though we sometimes make mistakes, that you forgive us and that you are always close by and that you help us. Please help each of our friends that even though they sometimes make mistakes, that you forgive them and that you always love them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.